everybody, I'm Nick, and I'm on holiday, but we have some breaking news in .NET, and I wanted to cover them, because it started very mild, and then it went pretty insane. Now, last time I was on holiday, Fluent Sessions started costing $130 per developer per year, which is insane. But this time, Automapper, Mediator, as well as Mass Transit are going commercial. Now, I kinda think that Jimmy Bogart is taking the piss here, and he's not actually serious, but he posted this on the 2nd of April, not the 1st, and he did say over here that, hey, for obvious reasons, I did not post this on April 1st, I posted this today because this is serious. Now, what did Jimmy say? And that came first, then Mass Transit came later, so I wanna cover both. I don't know if they both waited for the 2nd of April to sort of make it pass as a joke, which is pretty insane to think, but just let's take a look at this. So, in order to ensure long-term sustainability of my open source projects, I will commercialize Automapper and Mediator. Now, in general, both of these projects are in decline, especially Automapper. People are moving away from mappers altogether, and if they are to use a mapper, they're using source-generated ones. So I don't really think the Automapper thing is a big deal. And again, we don't really know how they will be commercialized at this point. I will make another video when we have more details. But Mediator is a more important project nowadays, used a lot in DDD, CQRS, and like clean architecture, vertical slices, and so on. And it has a lot of adoption as well, and some people think it's way more important than mapping and auto-mapper in general, so it might be harder to remove. I don't think it will be that hard because there's some libraries you can migrate to that have a one-to-one -one mapping for what Mediator can do, but it might look like more work if you want to migrate away from it. Now, Jimmy here is explaining where these projects came out of, and he's talking about his time in Headspring, which is the company that he was working for before he stopped to do his own thing, and the projects, as you can see, were at their peak in terms of contribution while he was working there because they ultimately needed those projects. And it's something I've done in the past as well. In case you don't know, I had an open source library called Cosmonaut, which was, and still is technically, a way better SDK than Microsoft's Cosmos DB team has come out with because that SDK, both v2 and v3, sucks. But while I was working with Cosmos DB, it was very easy for me to contribute on that open source project which I needed and I thought everyone else would need. The moment I stopped to go work for an AWS specific company, well, then I just stopped contributing on Cosmonaut and that project basically died. People still use it, please don't use it, you're gonna move away from it. So ultimately I understand why Jimmy would do that and those projects are sort of simple in nature. I think Automapper on an engineering level is very interesting, but I don't think it's a project you really need nowadays with everyone, including me, advocating move away from mappers, write your own, ultimately they're hurting you or they move into source generated ones. And Mediator is sort of the same because Mediator fundamentally is doing a very basic thing. It's taking a command, finding a handler or a query, finding a handler, and then it just returns a response. And many things can do that. Even in-memory messaging libraries like mass transit in memory, which we will talk about here, or Wolverine, or many other things can do the exact same thing. Now it does have some features like pipelines and some really nice stuff, but fundamentally it is very, very simple. And ultimately, if you're using something like fast endpoints, you don't really need. Now, what will this look like according to Jimmy? Well, he doesn't really know exactly. Now I did reach out to Jimmy and this is very fresh. I don't know if this is reactionary because he has said not too long ago, I think two months ago, when someone asked on Reddit, hey, will Mediator also become commercial just like Fluent Sessions? Jimmy himself said, nah, never, you can print it on a shirt, I will never commercialize Mediator. And I will sign it with like splatter paint or something. And then five hours ago, it's going commercial. So it is a bit weird. It does kind of look like a joke. So when and how, we don't know, but we know that Jimmy wants to move in that direction. And that all was a bit surprising, but what wasn't surprising was Mass Transit going commercial. From version nine onwards, Mass Transit will have a commercial model. I think something akin to what Identity Server has, where you're gonna have like a free version for hobbyists and like probably small projects. And then if you make more than a million a year or something like that as a company, you will need to pay to have a license to use Mass Transit. And that doesn't really surprise me because and Service Bus was one of the very first libraries that basically do the same thing. And they are a commercial library to handle messaging. Then you have Wolverine, which even though it is not commercial directly, Wolverine or the Jasper FX stack still has premium features. And I think it's heading towards something like that. And then Mass Transit is the most popular. Fundamentally because it's the best currently, but also because it was free, of course. So 
you just get all that audience and then you commercialize what's there. Version 8 is still staying free, as you can see over here, and open source, but version 9 will be transitioning into a commercial licensing model. Why the change? Well, because quite frankly, it's a big, complicated project, and I was surprised this hasn't happened already. And I was surprised because Chris, is, who is a creator of Mass Transit and Main Maintainer, was partnering for quite some time now with Drew Sellers, who is someone I have worked with in the past when I was working at a fintech company, uh, ultimately to promote and sell and package mass transit. So this actually took quite some time. Uh, and the way this looks is quite straightforward. The existing V8 code base will remain open source and available under the current license. Please do not take the repository away. Leave it open for people who want to take a look at the code, documentation, issues, and pull requests. Then security patches will continue for a specific period. That's the transition period. And then community support remains available for V8 users. Then on V9, it becomes commercial. And as you can see over here in the plan, Q3 of 2025, we get some pre-release packages for early adopters. Then in Q1 of 2026, we have the official release under a commercial license. And then we have security patches ongoing and then end of official maintenance for Mass Transit V8 after 2026. So there's a few things on how do you prepare and so on. But ultimately, this is about sustainability and this is about developers who have been doing this for free for a very long time. And I do think, by the way, for the record, both projects or all three projects have a value proposition and they're infinitely more valuable than anything Fluent Sessions will ever be. So, okay, would you pay $130 per developer per year for any of these projects? Realistically, if one of them is to ask this value, that's mass transit because of what it does. But I think they're not going to go with a per developer per year model. They might go for a flat fee and then custom rates for bigger companies. But what do I know? I'm not really into the open source licensing business. I'm in the educational business. Speaking of the educational business, it's Dome Train's second birthday and we're celebrating by giving you all a 40% discount to every single course bundle workshop as well as Dome Train Pro, which gives you access to all of our courses. So do not miss it. Link in the description. So they could really do anything but I think Mass Transit, depending on the price, might be a project worth paying for. For Automapper and Mediator, I don't know. If you're too deep into them, then maybe you're just going to pay to keep up with the latest releases because it's very hard to migrate and very expensive. In the same way, it's pretty hard and expensive to migrate from Mass Transit. We don't know how this will play out, but we keep seeing the biggest projects of .NET moving towards a paid model. So I really want to know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know. Which project is the next one you think will go commercial? And what do you think about the decision of Jimmy and Chris to make their projects commercial as well? Well, that's all I had for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, keep coding.